hope you've had a great weekend, that things are going well for you and your family. As you know, this month we are featuring highlights about prayer and evangelism. We hope you enjoyed last week's interview. Today, we have with us a prayer warrior in her own right. Please keep your eyes on the screen. Miss Vita Welbeck, who we all know and love, has some words of encouragement, sharing insight, and also just wants to help you understand just how powerful your prayers can be. Please keep your eyes on the screen. Prayer takes up so many different thoughts and everyone has its own meaning. But I look at prayer as God giving us a privilege to have a conversation with Him. We can give Him uh, our thoughts, our needs, our des and bring our desires to Him. Sometimes we have prayer and it's truly um, emotional. It's impactful, but sometimes we just want to sit and talk to God. And to me, that's what prayer allows. What I found is that when we started the prayer ministry on the line, it became global. Sometimes you, you will get, and someone will say, well, you pray for me for this, that, and the other. And then that leads to want someone coming on with them or, as we grow, it's a lot of times it's word of mouth. Oh, I went to prayer and this happened. I always say that if you still want to see how God works, come to prayer. And there's a scripture in Isaiah, and it shall come to pass that before they call, I'll answer. And when I first read that scripture, I said, so God, you're, you're hearing us. And while they are speaking, I will hear. And, and that let me know that not only is God hearing us, but he's answering the prayers. Reading the Bible along with prayer is essential because God's word will not return unto him void. So when we know what, we're, what God's promises are, then that prayer and his promises go hand in hand. Uh, as we journey, and we walk. Life's walking starts one step at a time. So prayer is just like that. You may not pray for an hour today, but pray. You may not read the Bible, but one scripture at a time, read it. But when you put prayer and you put the words of God together and add the faith to it, it's it takes the limits and boundaries out of things. And I can say without a shadow of a doubt, God answers prayer. Most people that know me know my children are on the East Coast. I can't get a flight uh, within an hour. I can't get to them with two hours, within even two hours. But I can have a conversation with God. And God will answer our prayers. Oh, what needless pains we bear, simply because we don't take all things to God in prayer. Please help me thank Ms. Vita for just unpacking the power of prayer, why prayer works. And most importantly, remember, we have an awesome big God, so our prayers can be big too. Keep rolling with us. We've got more that we want to share with you this month. We hope you're being blessed through the sermon series and by each of our guests and that you are keeping up with your prayer journal. As always, thank you so much for worshiping with us here at Tabernacle Baptist Church, a local church making a global impact.